Greetings to you today from Davies Cottage in Ballinvrina, South County Limerick. And the sun is shining, it is a beautiful day. And I thank God for his marvellous creation. Praise God for his wonderful works. What a wonderful God is our God. The scenery for miles and miles is incredible. Way over as far as you can see over there to County Clare. And if I go to the left, you'll be shown into County Cork. In Genesis 13, 13, I read the following. But the men of Sodom were wicked and sinners before the Lord exceedingly. But the men of Sodom were wicked and sinners before the Lord exceedingly. God showed to Abraham that he was going to destroy Sodom and Gomorrah because of their wickedness. Six times Abraham pleaded with God. He said, if there's 50 righteous there in the city, he said, you'll not destroy the wicked, the righteous with the wicked. And it went down to 10. God is a righteous God, and he would have spared Sodom if there were 10 righteous people in it. But you know, God sent his two angels into Sodom to get Lot and his family out of there. Lot was a righteous man, and he was vexed by the wicked conversation and manner of life of the men of Sodom. And when these two men came, they were actually angels sent from God. They were told and asked by Lot to not to stay in the street, but to come into his house. He knew what the men of Sodom were like. The men of Sodom came in the night and they knocked on Lot's door and they asked him to send out the men that had come because they wanted to know them. What do I mean by that? The word of God is crystal clear. They were Sodomites and they wanted to sexually abuse the men that they didn't know were angels that had come into the, the city of Sodom. Well, you know, the angels intervened and they pulled, pulled Lot into the house. And the Bible tells us that when the time came for them to leave Sodom, they brought Lot and his wife out and two of his daughters. Lot had gone to his son-in-laws, his two son-in-laws, and told them that God was going to destroy Sodom and we had to get out immediately. But he seemed as one that mocked. In other words, they thought he was talking a load of rubbish. That's a familiar thing today. Many people think the gospel is a load of rubbish. They laugh and they mock at the gospel of Jesus Christ. But these two men had made a decision that would not only have them annihilated by fire and brimstone, that would damn their souls for all eternity in hell. And because of it, their wives, two of Lot's daughters, would have been influenced by them, and they too were perished. But God in his mercy saved Lot out of Sodom. You know, people say, I don't believe these stories in the Bible. But when you look at the New Testament, there's a reference made to Sodom in Second Peter, and this is the Apostle Peter, and he says that Sodom and Gomorrah, Sodom's destruction is an example unto those who should after live ungodly. God's word clearly says, fools make a mock at sin. Fools make a mock at sin. Sin is a serious issue. We were born with a sinful nature. Scripture says, for all have sinned and have come short of the glory of God. But God has made provision for sinners to be saved. And that's why we read that verse that says, Christ Jesus came into the world to save sinners. And I am a sinner, and I thank God I am a saved sinner today by the grace of God. And the grace of God means God's unmerited, undeserved favour. But the people in Sodom had no time for God, and they didn't work out exactly what they wanted to do. You can read in Romans chapter 1, the Bible is still available in Ireland, you can read this for yourself, <clears throat> when it talks about the men who gave up the knowledge of God, cast aside the knowledge of God, and they went on in their own lusts, men with men, working that which is unseemly. That's referring to unholy relationships. The Bible tells us when God made man in the book of Genesis, male and female created he them. Male and female. That's the way God made men. 
But the devil today wants to pervert everything that God has done and God has made. The Bible tells us that the devil is a roaring lion, seeketh whom he may devour. He knows that his time is short. The devil is already condemned to hell. There's no hope for him and his demons that were cast out of heaven. They were once angels until they lifted their eyes up to God and God's throne and they wanted to be as God. And the Bible tells us they are judged. And it's it's crystal clear from the book of Revelation where it shows us that the devil was cast into the lake of fire. I praise God that that day is coming. But for those who are living in this earth, every person that's walking, every person that's hearing today, you can be saved because Christ died to save sinners. Christ died for the ungodly. Jesus loves you. He cares for you. No matter what your circumstances are, no matter what your situation is today. He said to his disciples, he says, Behold, I go to prepare a place for you. And he's talking about when he was going back to heaven. He was going up to heaven to prepare a place for his own disciples. That promise is yours today if you will put your trust in the Lord Jesus Christ. He says, I go to prepare a place for you. Will you not let the Lord Jesus give you that promise today? I go to prepare a place for you. You can go to heaven when you die if you put your trust in Jesus. But if you're like the men of Sodom and Gomorrah, if you're like those that mocked, the Bible says you'll go to a lost eternity forever and ever in hell. I pray that you'll be wise. Seek the Lord while he may be found. Call upon him while he is near.